big fat zombie there. Okay. Zoom in on his face. I'm just chilling on these games. Um, I've been playing zombies for literal years. It's just so refreshing to just do like a commentary, like, cause like this is what I really loved watching when I was a young, a young man, a young lad, if you will. So, you know, if you look over my channel, obviously recently I've been making video game videos and it's not going to really go back to the old content anytime soon, I'd say. I really like gaming. It's like my, well, it's been one of my life, lifelong passions, like literally, um, since, a, since a kid, since I picked up controller, I haven't put it down. It's just always been there. You know, I like movies. I like TV shows and I like, I like all that shit too. Don't get me wrong, but it's like, if I were to really choose between the two, I think like every time, every time I'd rather pick up a, a video game. It's not changing. And I figured like I get more enjoyment out of games. I get more enjoyment out of these things. Why am I forcing myself to do this um, other stuff that I'm not really passionate too much about? Like some of it is cool, but other times it's, it's really, it's not what I necessarily want. But I do have a lot of inspirations, if you couldn't tell. Um, it's pretty obvious. Donkey. Uh, Woke up this morning, got some gabagoo. Oni plays. Have you seen that YouTube yeah. tutorial on how to split an atom? Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, there's a YouTube video on how to split an atom? Yeah, but it causes a huge explosion. I don't know if you knew that. And like, um, all new grounds. Like, I just remember watching new grounds cartoons. All these people, Leafy, Leafy's here, uh, as weird as it is to say in 2024 people they love weed. some people will say it's the only reason i don't kill myself and if it's true good for you dude for a long time he was a lot of people's inspirations for this shit like oh my god i'm gonna go down here go down i'm about to go down okay no i'm not this just brings you back to those days man i'd be playing black ops on my cousin's playstation life goes in cycles a lot of the time or not it's not a good place to be. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Fuck. Why am I hitting the? Okay, let's get out. Thought this was gonna be chill. But yeah, this whole new direction this channel is going in. It's the most fun I've been having with my content in like I don't even know how long. Like, it's been so long. I have a lot of inspirations for this shit, man. Like. And it's not just a few, like Jev, Phase Jev. Hey yo, what the fuck? Vanoss Gaming. You have flak jacket on, I don't know why you're complaining. I don't have flak jacket! <laughs> For the love of God! Hate to say it, but Smosh even, like I remember watching Smosh when I was younger. Man, like just so much fucking awesome content. I hate spiders, but it's like, it's not that bad. Like it's not the worst, where I literally like, I can't you know, watch his shit, like, it, it really doesn't matter to me. Like, I hate the dead spiders, like, I hate the corpses, but, like, other than that, it's the first story, age. I was a literal toddler. I was just beginning to use washroom, right? I was just beginning to, like, you know, be a grown-ass man, and I was just beginning to, like, take shits in the toilet, take pisses. <laughs> it was pretty much, like, just unluckiness, just pure unlucky, honestly. And pretty much, like, I went to the washroom, right? And I fucking seen the worst thing ever. I seen this big-ass spider. Biggest i seen in my life up to that point. And it was right in the toilet bowl. Right in the toilet bowl. Like, it wasn't beside it. It wasn't, you know, in the water. It wasn't anything. It was right on the inside of the toilet bowl. Um, and I pretty much, like, you know, I think... That's the first time like I actually probably felt adrenaline and I screamed and like I yelled and I ran and um, yeah, like I actually, long story short, I, I, I shat in the fucking tub because <laughs> I was so scared because um, I could see the tub that there was nothing in there. I couldn't see if it's, I didn't want to look in the toilet. The lid was closed. So like, I was like, whatever, I'm not, I'm not going to risk that shit. Literally, no, I ain't going to risk that shit. You know? So you know, that kind of gives insight into a general insight 
to like my life. I didn't eat shit in the tub. Um, not now, but fig figuratively, you know. That's how we deal with problems. It, I did eventually, obviously, dealt with it, obviously. Like, I didn't just... I didn't just... <laughs> I didn't just use the tub after. Um, no, nah, that's one of the earliest childhood traumas I can remember. But like I said, even with all that said, with all that shit of spiders, like I, I really, it's not a big thing to me. Like I definitely, like I know it's in us to not like spiders. Like it definitely is. Like it's in our genes. Like we are not meant to like spiders. Like I don't like seeing them obviously. But I'm not gonna like break down if I see a spider, you know. I don't really plan on going back to the video essays. Now, that's not a guarantee that it's never gonna happen. Uh, like, I would prefer if it was just like literally a, a treat, you know, like literally once, maybe every like, you know, once in a blue moon. I guess you could say called zombies is just making me feel like nostalgic, man. It's, it's bringing me back. I remember as a kid, I would record my screen and like act like I was doing a let's play. I would use a, a video, a literal video recorder to record the, the original Little Big Planet, the first Little Big Planet. I was like 12 or 13 playing Black Ops 2. I would do trolling videos. I wouldn't record them obviously because I couldn't. I pretty much just troll people, you know, um, for fun, uh, just for like a laugh. Um, with with my friends and all that like i said all for fun like none of this was recorded or anything this was all just pure pure laughs pure fun that was my childhood man then at some point like i said i got older i wanted to be sophisticated i don't, I don't even know man i don't even know how to say it like yeah you, you think you're like smarter or you think you're whatever i don't know it's really dumb really ignorant i'm sorry if this video isn't as like funny i guess uh i'll i'll try i don't know i'll try something i'll put edits and funny edits i don't know i'll do something you gotta make some sort of essay or you're gonna make something informative it's like i get that bug every once in a while uh, that worm in my brain to tell me that shit like i said i'm not gonna completely take it off the table like anything you never know what's gonna happen never know what kind of genius idea i might cook up <laughs> You know, so yeah, I, I can't guarantee anything. I can't sit here and say, oh, I'm definitely going to do it again or I'm not going to do it again. Um, we'll see. We all see. It'll even surprise me, man. It'll surprise me if I get back into that shit. Like, I, it'll really be something. Talking about me a little bit again. Um, I do, like, as far as in the future, what I want to do, I do want to uh, like make some sort of in real life videos at some point i don't really do it right now i don't really have the technology to do it at some point in the near future yeah i, I want to do everything man like i want to do cooking videos vlogs uh vlogs around the world really i want to go check out like some a new country and i'm thinking it's going to be japan you know at this moment that's kind of like what i've been it's been kind of building to i should be able to I, I can't give the exact dates because I'm not sure, but that is something I'm planning on. Just taking everything, taking as much as I could in like the week I'd be going. Yeah, just see the culture, see the people, make memories. It's the first time I'd be out of country. I've not left Canada. I barely even left the province I'm in. I only went out province a few times to the next province, literally to the next province. So it's like, it's like going to your next state, you know, it's not it's very it's not much different i've just never had the money to go we've never had the money to go as a family or like you know, it was rough you know i'm hoping before golden week in japan which is april at least that's what i'd be hoping for when i do go i will record a lot of it i am gonna try to get a camera by that point so i actually could record yeah. my journeys journey across japan abroad in japan if you will uh -huh. Whenever I think about like what the future holds, I kind of think about that. And, you know, it's definitely what I want. I don't need like whatever the latest designer. Oh my god. I don't need the latest drip. I just need to feel good in my clothes, you know. 
I start locking in. This is getting hard. And I'm not really religious, but uh, I do uh, like look. I'm not like, Christian or Muslim or Hindu or anything. I am me. And just <laughs> there's something in native culture which I am, and genuinely I am. It's not like I'm 116th or something. I am, you know, uh, registered Native American. But I believe in the creator. Like that's what that's what it kind of encompasses. All these coincidences, all these crazy shit that just so happened to work. And it's like there has to be something, right? It can't just I don't I don't think it's just straight up like I don't think it'd be straight up like, oh, you know, it's this and that and science and this went this way and it's like yeah, it did. In certain ways science did. But it's like, what what made that? What made, what kept kept that from staying afloat? Rats back around. If there is a simulation, there is a creator of the simulation, right? Right, there has to be some sort of thing. Uh, whether that be an uh, omniscient being. I gotta lock in here, there's two fucking big ass sh things. Three big ass fucking zombies on me, man. This guy's about to go down to, oh Jesus, man. This game changes after around like 25. I'm not built for this, man. <laughs> I'm not built for this. But going back to that thought of like the, the some sort of creator, some sort of higher being, that's definitely what I think is like, the truth. One of my rants, fast food, buy this bullshit. Always say sick shit, right? It always, always does. Rarely is it like worth it, right? We still do it. We still as a collective say, screw it. And it's, it's not even worth it anymore. Like it's not, it's not fucking worth it. It's, it's, it's literally every time you order something, it's like 30 bucks, 40 bucks. Even if you want the cheapest option, like McDonald's or something. It's like that's borderline getting lug luxury now, you know? I see somebody with McDonald's bag. I'm thinking that's fucking, that's like a, a Donald Trump correspondent, you know, like, hey, it's not for the general public anymore. You gotta have a BMW to get in that fucking line now. This garbage they're selling us is getting shittier. Oh my God, he's going crazy. He's going crazy because of the McDonald's epidemic we're, epidemic we're facing. And shit, I'm mad too. You, you, you think Gerald Fogel, the fucking freak, could, could afford fucking... Subway every day in, in this economy, it would have just been some fucking freak. Nobody would have heard of him. It was just like Subway a little bit. It's pretty ridiculous type of shit we're dealing with now. Prices, these prices went up. When I first started, shit was like 50 bucks for an OZ. 50 bucks, 50 bucks Canadian. Depending on where you can really get it, like 45, the lowest I've seen nowadays. You can't get something less than like. 65 or or 70 i know that's still relatively cheap you know that's still relatively good but come on like that's that's a 10 dollar difference that's like a 15 dollar 10 dollar difference in the matter of a few years what is going on i wish i had an answer for you guys but i don't it's just gone mad it's gone crazy bro there's like 10 manglers coming after me oh what the hell First down, bro. He looks like he's gonna go down. Oh no. No, he's down. <laughs> no. I think this might be it, guys. I don't know if you like this video. I'd say to like it. If you're enjoying this kind of stuff, like if it's a little bit of better change of pace, I guess, for you, then you know, let me know and I'll keep doing it. I'll talk to you guys later. And, um, yeah, have a good night, guys.